What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel, Euro Superbike Life. I'm Derek, in today's episode we are going to be working on my dedicated track bike, my BMW S1000RR, right after this. Welcome back guys. Before we get started on today's tasks, I wanted to touch base with you guys and give you an update on just a couple of things. Number one, if I sound a little hoarse or a little scratchy, that's because I am. The last couple of days I've had a, a bad bout with uh, some bronchitis and I'm on the end of that. So while I feel great, I sound like shit still. So uh, number two is I'm going to try to keep these videos a little bit shorter than normal. Um, as you guys know, some of my videos have run into 25, 30, 35 minutes in length. And according to uh, YouTube analytics, you guys are only watching about an average of five minutes. So it doesn't make any sense to uh, make a 30 minute video. So I'm gonna try to keep those to 15 minutes and under and just do more videos so you'll probably see more episodes. Nevertheless, let's go over to the bench, take a look at some of the things we're gonna do today and uh, get going. Okay, so we're over here at my tool chest and if you watched my last episode where we changed the oil on my MV Augusta F3800, link right here, um, and you watched the whole thing, then you got a sneak peek at some of the things that we are going to do uh, and, and install in today's episode and episodes to come. Uh, so first we have some Samco silicone hoses. Um, these simply work a lot better than your stock rubber hoses. They don't bulge up and swell up uh, really bad and you don't have to worry about them blowing off and things of that nature. They work a lot better and they look fantastic too. Um, we have a Moto D. Uh, lap timer and data logger that I'm going to be installing here along uh, with the expansion box. So this uh, plugs directly into my ECU and what this allows me to do is allows me to pull off uh, RPMs, um, uh, what gear I'm in, uh, engine temperature, uh, TPS sensor position, all of that stuff so I can analyze it later to try to better my track time. But I can also overlay that information on my video so you guys can see exactly what's going on, what I'm doing on the bike, what the bike is doing and so forth. So it's pretty cool. We also have an Olin steering damper. We're going to install that today along with the Moto D because those are pretty quick and I've already used probably about five minutes already. Uh, you can already hear my voice going, but I probably use, already used about five minutes of this video. Um, and then in later episodes, I have a 520 conversion kit, uh, complete with a DID chain, uh, front sprocket, and a rear sprocket in here. Uh, we're going to do that conversion a little bit later. And then over here, we have some goodies from Nitron. And I really, really can't wait to get that on the bike. That's a rear shock, uh, specifically built to my specs for my weight and what I'm going to be doing. So super excited to get that on the bike. That will probably be in another two episodes or so. But today, we're just going to do the Moto D and the Olin Steering Damper. So without further ado. So when you open up the Moto D Start Next box, you obviously you get your data logger slash lap timer. Um, it comes with this mount on the back here. This is my GoPro mount, but it comes with this mount on the back here. Uh, you get your USB cable and you get some Velcro strips as well. In the expansion pack, and this is the Moto D expansion pack, again, this allows me to connect directly to uh, my bike's ECU. So what you get in here is you get uh, some instructions, you get another SD card, micro SD card, uh, some more Velcro strips, you get the controller box itself, So um, and you get a connecting cable, so you have this cable here, a connecting cable here, so basically this will connect here, and then the other end will go to the Moto D. And then you get a, a harness that connects directly to your bike. So this will plug into this end here. Uh, excuse me, like so. And then this end will plug into the, uh, the ECU port uh, in the back of your bike. So let's go put this in. All right, so we're over here at the front of the bike. And to start, I'm using a, a ball type ram mount that's mounted in the center of my uh, steering stem. And basically I have the other uh, end here. And we're just going to, um, you know, mount the Moto D here like that. And then I will mount the Moto D with the GoPro style bracket to it. And now I'll just position it the way I want when I'm riding, which was most likely like that. 
And I'm just going to loosely leave it that way because we're going to have to remove this red cap that's on the back back here. Oh, you guys can see that. We're going to have to remove that red cap because that's where our expansion box is going to go. All right, so let's move to the back of the bike. We'll grab our uh, harness and I'll show you where that plugs in uh, to the ECU. Okay. So we are over here at the back of the bike now and as you see I already have my fairings and everything off the bike uh, and we have a number of harnesses back here that I have zip tied to the uh, subframe here. So basically you want to find the harness that goes to your ECU which is this guy here, has a cap on it. Um, and basically you just remove the cap, you pinch the sides here and remove the cap and you can see that there's a I don't know if you can see it, there's electrical connections in there. So if you try to ride around without anything connected to this, you're probably going to get some errors on your, your, um, your instrument console. So basically we want to remove that, set this aside. We want to grab our harness. So we're going to be using this end of the harness. And we're simply going to plug this in here. Now I will say, uh, you guys probably won't be able to see it, uh, no, not with the sliding, but there were some nubs uh, in, on the bottom here and on the top. So when I tried to push this on, it wouldn't go in. And this harness doesn't have any of that. So basically, I grabbed my Dremel and just ground those off, and now it goes in. But push this on until it clicks. And now all we're going to do is we are going to snake this uh, up to the front of the bike. Okay, so I have an idea of how I want this to run, but uh, I'm a little bit anal about certain things, and I want the wiring to run up under the tank along the side of the frame. So I'm going to have to go ahead and remove the tank so I can wire this up the way that I want to. So let's get started doing that. All right, tank out. Never set the tank on the bottom. Always tip it forward. All right, so now the cable is back up top, up front here. So now we grab our control box. And I'm going to connect. I'll bring this over here so you can see it. So you have this end here. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. Uh, and you can see there are six prongs in there and then you have the out port here and I'm just going to connect this to here feel it slide in and then just twist down here all right so that's connected now the other end will go to our Moto D start next and this end will connect to our harness. That'll be it for this one. <clears throat> All right, well, I wanted to show you guys where I ran the cable. So it comes down under the frame here, comes up and over and under where the gas tank would go. Behind this section here, over the cylinder head, and then it comes out right over here, right up front here. Then all you do is you um, take your control unit, you connect it, and like I said, the other end will connect up to your Moto D. Um, you really want to find a spot uh, to put this. So I've sort of mocked a spot down here, which I think would work pretty good. Um, sort of right about like that, right up against the weld. Uh, and this still gives me plenty of movement in the cable. And I'll zip tie it so it doesn't get, uh, you know, caught on anything like that. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll move on to um, uh, installing the uh, Olin steering damper. Okay, so I got the control box all installed down here on the side. Uh, you probably can't really see it, but it's down here. And I ran the wire up through behind the triple clamp and out the top side here. So now all we're going to do is we're going to grab our Moto D start next. We're going to remove this red cap. Discard that. And we're going to attach uh, the cable to here. Alright, it's on there nice and snug. And now I'm going to remove my GoPro mount. Fish that through there. 
That's how I want it. Tighten that down, and I can tighten this down. And there we go. Moto D next installed. Okay guys, so we are over here at the front of the bike, and here is our stock steering damper. And it's a really simple uh, removal. So we have our T40 Torx bit for the bolt that's up under here. Uh, we have a 12 and a 13 mil uh, crescent wrench for what's here, and we just remove it, it's as simple as that. So we take our 12, block that, take a 13, and loosen it up. Okay, and we take our T40, come up under here. Okay, and be careful there's a spacer on top. A lot here. Slide that up and out, and that's the old one out. Let's go get the new one, and take a peek. Okay, so here is our Olin steering damper and bracket that I got from Kyle Racing. Uh, it comes with an owner's manual, obviously, and instructions. And it's a pretty simple install. Um, it mounts in this fashion here, and you just uh, pretty much do what the instructions tell you to do. <laughs> I'm not sure you can get much more simple than that. Now, for uh, video purposes, I'm not uh, using Loctite, but I'm going to go back and use some blue Loctite uh, after the fact. I uh, just want to make sure that these things don't rattle out. Okay, that's snug. And basically follow the instructions. Not too difficult. Screw. And that's basically it. Uh, you'll snug this stuff down, and then you'll adjust, and then like I said, I'll go back and I'll use some blue Loctite to uh, snug all these things down. Uh, so I'll be right back. All right, everyone, uh, we are all snugged up. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to adjust um, uh, the steering damper so that it's, I have you know, proper movement either side. So basically all you wanna do is you wanna loosen up um, these two bracket screws here. Turn it all the way right so that you know the, the whole damper moves, not the rod, but the whole damper moves within the uh, slider. So now you can see that, hopefully you can see, but here you can see that the, the rod is all the way close to the housing. So then we're gonna move it out just a little bit so we don't make sure that we don't um, you know top it out or bottom it out and break anything. And then we're simply gonna snug these down Right? And now we should be able to go all the way back the other side, as you can see, without bottoming the other side. And now we still have a little gap here. We go all the way right. So we are properly adjusted now. And we can adjust the clickers here. As you can see, more difficult, even more difficult. And we loosen it all the way up and it turns freely. So that is it. We are done for today, everyone. Uh, if you like this episode, as always, click like, subscribe. I'd love to have you guys as subscribers. Uh, but I'm Derek. This is Euro Superbike Life. Until next time, talk to you soon.